Hello, awesome people. It's another edition of Victor Sibor Reviews. Today, I want to use the opportunity to say welcome to the first timers on this YouTube channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me, it is me. My name is Victor Sibor, the face and the voice behind Victor Sibor Reviews. Here, we talk about stuff that edify us, makes you a better version of yourself every day. If bettering yourself on a daily basis is the reason you come to YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell notification icon, then place it on all so that you don't miss my subsequent videos. And to my old timers, my viewers, my subscribers from day one, salute. It's a pleasure having you back on this channel. For without you, there'll be no me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now, today I want to talk about social media social media as it relates to our lives now social media is a very powerful tool you know very very powerful tool for business for socializing even for some news although not all the news are accurate though but for some news you know social media is a very powerful tool it unites people it helps make life interesting but the problem is with a lot of people how they use social media and also, another set of people, how they interpret what they see on social media. First of all, some people, how they use it. The second of all, some people, how they interpret what they see. Don't take what you see on social media too seriously. People don't post their pains and struggles on social media. They only post the good times, the flashy times. They put it on social media, using it to frustrate some people. Those people that are misinterpreting what they are seeing on social media. They'll be looking at the picture or video of a couple kissing each other. They'll be like, oh, I wish my life, my marital life was like this. No, now. Those kisses that those couples are exchanging on social media, those shows of affection that they are doing, they are doing it for the camera. When they get home that day, they will fight. That couple that you are envying on social media every day, they fight every day. That's why you see plenty of celebrities with so-called perfect marriages. Six months down the line, the woman will now come out with evidence that her husband has been beating her from day one. Then you now start wondering, ah, all those pictures that you people post together, all lovey-dovey and happy, where does that come from? They are just acting movie for you and you are using it to tension yourself. Eh? Your old school mate is driving different cars every day. Now you are hoping and praying to be like him. In fact, because of this person, you want to be quarreling with God. That God, why, why have you forgotten me? This was a small boy to me at school now. Look at him driving different Porsche cars. Okay, somebody's uncle. For instance, now my uncle comes to visit. I have an uncle that anytime he comes to visit, he will give me his car key and send me on one errand or the other. Okay, now that my uncle drives a Mercedes Benz. Let's assume now that as I'm driving his Mercedes Benz, I do a video. Hey, yo, this is my brand new Mercedes Benz. 2014 model okay i'm just cruising i want to go have fun somewhere i put it on social media somebody that knows me they'll be like chai see victor victor you don't know victor that boy i used to send on errand now go and look at his latest video on instagram is he owns a brand new mercedes benz i post that video on a monday then my eldest sister comes around with his brand new care sportage and she gives me the key that I should go to the shopping mall to buy Pampas for our children. I'm going to buy Pampas. Now I'm doing a video saying, well, you know, I'm just cruising around. You know, I'm looking for the perfect lounge. I'm expecting my Chinese partner. So I'm looking for the perfect lounge to host them. I'm driving my Kia Sportage. They will say he drove a Benz on Monday. He's driving a Kia Sportage on Tuesday. Somebody will just be somewhere having a headache over fake life that I'm living on social media. You want to kill yourself. A lot of the rich people you envy, people that have audio money, invisible money on social media that you envy, you have more money than them in real life. Yes, a lot of marriages you envy, your marriage is better than them, but you don't know. Have you ever seen somebody whose lunch is gari with granuts and kuli kuli and they post it on social media? No, they will not post gari and kuli kuli now. You want, to, you, want them, you want their number of likes and followers to reduce? They will not post that one now. But once a while, when a guy decides to take a girl out to buy her fried rice and chicken, that is when she will bring out her phone. See me? I'm eating fried rice and chicken. Then somebody will think that's how they eat fried rice and chicken every day. No, now. The fried rice and chicken said they did not buy it with their money. Eh? Every time a girl enters a car, she wants to do a video. 
I have parked a car somewhere before. And I saw some boys around the car. I was even wondering, do they want to steal the car? Because one of them was holding the door handle. That was when I came out like, oh, but what did they happen? What, what, what's going on here? Then I saw that the other one held a phone. He said, bros, we want to take some pictures with the car and put it on social media. So I now laughed. Allowed them to do it. Now I'm imagining, when they put that picture on social media with the guy's hand on the handle of the door, somebody somewhere will think that, that look at the car this boy is driving now. Look at the car. I say, I have, I have a problem. I have a problem. I need to find a solution to my problem. This boy, I'm over 20 years older than him. See, the car is driving. The car does not even belong to the boy. The boy does not even know the owner of the car. He just took pictures with it. So the way people use social media, making it like a fake life, where they put fake, fake things, and the way some people interpret social media, assuming that everything they see on social media is true, they now use it to affect their own mental health. They now start to think that they have problems. Some people now believe that they have offended God because of the fake life they see on social media. Nothing you see on social media should be taken too seriously. I have followed girls on social media that are fair in complexion. I saw them in real life. They are as dark. They are as dark as the back of a pot. There are women that are covetous on social media. They don't have the curves in real life. You don't know why. You don't know the kind of editing applications that they are using. A lady will stand with curved hips, and you'll find out that the door frame beside her will curve too. Anything that is beside her, any object beside her will curve too. And a, a, a woman who is plus size and is trying to lose weight, she will now slip into depression. Look at this girl. Look at her shape. Look at my own. That is social media. Your favorite social media influencer hmm, will go under the knife and perform surgery on her body. After performing the surgery, she will now go to the gym. She will now start working on the treadmill. She will hold the phone. Hello, fam. You see this, my body, is because I've been working out. So what you need to be eating is eat only cucumber and avocado pears. I don't eat beef. I don't eat anything. I don't eat swallow or heavy food. Okay? By 3 p.m., that's when I have my dinner. And I don't eat again till the next day. Then you believe that rubbish. Then you too, you'll be starving yourself. Before you know, you will have stomach ulcer. So, do not be competitive. I'm not saying that it's not good for you to aim to become wealthy. But if the foundation, the foundation of your desire to become wealthy is based on competition of people you used to know or people that you see on social media, then that foundation is so weak and no wealth, no true wealth can stand and be sustainable on such a foundation. You need to recalibrate your thinking. Think about fulfilling your destiny. You have your own race to run. You have your own life to live. We have talked about wealth. Now, let's talk about fame. Fame is also overrated, but people don't know. Fame is overrated. See, the grass is always greener on the other side. Until you reach that other side, you now start craving for where you are coming from. You and I are watching each other now. Nobody knows us. We are not popular. We are not celebrities. As I am now, I enjoy my evening strolls around the estate. I'll just put my airport, listening to some good music, strolling in the evening, enjoying the ambience. You know, taking a cool evening stroll around the estate. It's like a form of exercise for me. I enjoy it. As I'm passing, I'm greeting the local sellers, I'm greeting the local boys, I'm greeting everybody. Obafana, how are you today? Hope you had fun. As I'm strolling, I enjoy doing it. They want to show Chelsea match. I'm a Chelsea fan. I have DSTV subscription in the house, but I like to be around people where we can argue, where we can relate and socialize while watching football. So I like to go to a public viewing center to watch the football or maybe a bar or a restaurant, a public one where the commoner on the streets can, you know, I can engage them intellectually and tactically with football. I enjoy doing that. These things that I say I am doing, your favorite celebrity, they cannot try it. Let David Doe come out and stroll around his estate, greeting everybody. Let David Doe drive to Suruleri alone, come out of his car, enter a viewing center to watch football. He cannot try it. That means you and I, we have something that David Doe and Whiskey will look at us and say, hmm, I envy you people because they are on the other side. See, it can never be complete for you. It can never be complete for you. 
whatever status you have found yourself, whatever condition you have found yourself now, count your blessings and enjoy the benefits that comes with that condition now. Because those things you are enjoying now, because of your present status, the moment your status changes to the one that you want, you start missing those things and you cannot go back there again. That is why you see many celebrities, because they want to enjoy this kind of freedom that people that are not famous have, they, they start disguising. They wear a dark shade, they wear a hoodie, they wear a face cap on top, put a bada on top, wear a face mask on top so that people will not know them because they want to feel like us. <laughs> you understand? They want to feel like you and I. The kind of freedom that we have. Everything a celebrity does is, is on the front page of the news. Like as I am now, as a guy, I can be walking and see, see a, 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 a local restaurant and walk into that restaurant and eat. I can be going on the road and be singing. Singing loud because I'm happy. If I were a celebrity and I'm going on the road singing loud, the next thing, bloggers, they'll put it front page. Popular celebrity runs mad on the street. They'll put a video there to confirm what they're saying. You see, so some people want to use your life to trend. Anything you do is in the public domain. No privacy again for you. So please, it's not everything you see on social media that you believe. Okay? You have your own race. You have your own schedule. Be patient. Keep working hard. You are not doing as badly as you think. Forget those social media people. You are doing your best. Keep doing it. Keep at it. Success. Your success is just around the corner. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't just like it in your mind. Smash the like button. That's why the button is there. Smash it. Then the YouTube algorithm will now say, okay, this video is a likable one. Let, let me share it with more people. Then share it within your social circle. Okay? Share it on that social media so that they will know that you know that the majority of what they post is fake. Subscribe to this channel if this was your first time. Till I see you in the next video, I remain Victor Isibo. Signing out is bye for now. Thank you for watching this video. We do hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit the like button and tap on the share button to share this video on social media. Thank you very much.